today on Be Something Wonderful, how to be absolutely unlimited and create anything you want. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning and welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful. I have a big video for you today. This is with a creator who said, I really understand now what it means to be unlimited and that I have put all of those limitations, all of those obstacles, all the things that I'm struggling with, I created them. And with her story, it was with a specific person and a third party, another person involved. And she goes, oh my God, I get it that I put that third party there and then I put the separation between us. In other words, they, they separated. They didn't really officially break up, but they separated. And this is when this third party came in. And I, I'm going to go over what her insights and then this powerful metaphysical lesson around it. Wow, I really see it now. All that doing, wanting, waiting, whining, and resisting is exhausting. This is what she was doing, right? A lot of doing, a lot of trying to make things happen, a lot of wanting things to be different, a lot of waiting for, this, for things to get better, for her for her ex to call her or, or, or that third party to go away and then complaining that it doesn't work or the, or the manifestation techniques don't work or my life's not changing and resisting everything, resisting the manifested reality, saying it shouldn't be there, right? Holding on and then trying to let go. She went through all of these ideas, right? Never just choosing, staying there and allowing it to unfold. To see, she goes, I, I couldn't see what I see now. I know what you mean now, but that it narrows our perception. That it's always been there. I've been remembering it wrong. I've been seeing it wrong. I've been judging it wrong, right? She got all of this. I, I couldn't see it. She goes, I couldn't see around through that messy middle that I was creating. So I want to go over this today and more. Remember, and I've spoke spoke of, I have spoken about this on a few videos now. The path to everything you want is to resist nothing, is to do nothing, is to hold on to nothing. It really is about a met, you know, that two second imaginal frame of reality, that two second imaginal scene, and then resting in that end, knowing it's done, not doing anything else to make it happen, not resisting the changing conditions, not resisting the changing thoughts and feelings. You are source. You are reality. You are the one and only creator of your life experience. Everything and everybody else is just an extra, a prop in your movie of your life. Do you see it? You're everything. You're the director. You're the producer. You're the actor. You are, you're all of it. It's all about you. Make it about you. Right? She was making it about the breakup, the separation, the third party, other things, instead of making it about her. Who is she in relation to all of this? Right? There's no reality without you. You're all of it. This is her realization. There's no obstacles. There's no limitations. There, there are no circumstances. There are not even thoughts and feelings without you. You're the one that decides your relationship to all of it. This is powerful. What do I do? Nothing, right? You are source. The entire world and universe comes from, forms around, and rearranges itself around you, right? Stop trying to do something about the circumstances. Stop trying to do something about others. Stop trying to do something about the world and be the source and creator of them, right? Stop resisting your I amness, wanting and waiting for reality to be different than it is. Do you see it? You are reality. It can't be different unless you decide you're different, unless you decide you're someone different, that you're identifying with another version, another identity of you, right? Stop trying to do something or not do something. She goes, I tried it all. I tried to let go and not do something, but it was all effort. I was putting all of those obstacles, all that effort out there. This is powerful today. The entire world, people, events, and circumstances are created, formed, and arranged around your two-second imaginal frame of reality. Remember that I talked about this. Whether you're consciously assuming something or imagining something, in every moment, you're creating an imaginal frame of reality. You are in a frame 
of all that is. And you're creating that. So why not make it the life of your dreams? All of it, the past, present, and future you're creating from this vertical. From, from that I am vertical. Remember your true nature, that true potential that you are. You're everything, right? And this two second imaginal frame, right? That's always being created. You're always assuming something. You're always believing something. But in every moment, that frame is changing according to your mix. And in every moment, you're creating all of it, not just your present experience, what we call the present experience, but the entire experience of the now moment, meaning there's only now. So you're creating whatever you believe your linear horizontal past is, your linear horizontal present, and your linear horizontal future. All of that experience is always instantly unfolding from this two second imaginal frame from this ongoing imaginal frame of reality that's always changing, from that vertical unfolds that horizontal experience, past, present, and future. So it's all created now. There is, there, there is no fixed past or some determined fate in the future. It's all created by you right now in this two second imaginal frame. So you can either put the obstacles there and you can either imagine from down here with your focus on what looks like a, a immovable, solid, manifested reality and a future that doesn't seem like it's coming. Or you can imagine it from here like you are in every moment anyway, right? This is powerful. So do nothing other than imagine yourself and your world as you would like it to be. Two second imaginal frame. That's all you do. Right? And you do that anyway. That's who you are. That's what awareness does. The awareness is always aware of something. Consciousness is always conscious of something. Why not be conscious and aware of how you would like reality to be other than what it appears to be to you? Right? You only need me, again, from the chosen. You only need that awareness of who you are. Do nothing with the circumstances. Do nothing with others. Do nothing with your thoughts. Do nothing with your feelings. Stop holding on. Stop letting go. Stop resisting reality. In other words, we're even making the idea of letting go an effort, something that we have to do. It's natural. I am awareness doesn't hang on to anything. Source doesn't hang on to anything or let go of anything. It doesn't have to. It recreates it in every moment. Right? There's always a new you. There's always a new reality. You don't have to hold on and let go of anything. Do less than you could ever imagine. As that spiritual teacher Genevieve Davis, who wrote the magic book, says. I quote her in many videos. Right? Do less. It's about doing less than you could possibly imagine. Remember, there's always action to take. I quote this from The Magician's Way. But there's nothing ever to do. You will take actions. You will move through that illusion of action in 3D reality. But there's nothing to do. The action is being that which you desire to be. All action unfolds from that. From you imagining and assuming you are that you are that which you desire to be. Imagine it, assume it, choose it, and stay there. Right? Resist nothing. Waiting and wanting for reality to be different than it is creates a reality experience where it never is. Do you see it? It can't be. Because you just create a reality of wanting things to be different, but they never are. Needing things to be different, but they never are. Waiting for things to be different, but they never, they never arrive. They never are different. Right? Remember, it's all unfolding from the vertical, but you create this experience that these are solid. Right? You're imagining it here, but you're believing here. You're, you're, you're creating, you're focused here, trying to change what looks like unchangeable unchang reality. You don't change anything here. It's here where you imagine reality. Nothing can be changed, right? Every single possibility exists and will always exist. It's always changing. Do you see it? It's always changing. You can see these dotted boxes, past, present, and future. But when you're down here, it feels like it's the same old. Right? Same old reality. It's always changing, but it's always changing into what you're waiting for, wanting, and resisting. In other words, it changes into a reality of waiting for things. It changes into a reality of wanting things, but never getting them. It changes into a reality of resisting, and, but never getting, never being. 
right? Remember the past, re, you remember the past, you see the present, right? And you imagine the future that appears never to change into what you desire. You see it? It, it never appears to change into what you desire because you've been waiting and wanting and whining and complaining about it and focused here and putting those obstacles there and wonder why they're there, right? Create the, remember, it's all you. So when you do nothing with thoughts, feelings, and circumstances, when you resist nothing, you lift any apparent limitations. The middle dissolves and, and, and you allow that limitless source and creative power to work through you and as you. Do you see, you lift any limitations. You're, you're totally unlimited unless you create them. Doing to make something happen or change out there only creates more apparent limitations. There aren't any, but you can create the experience that there are, right? And then you create new conditions to deal with, right? And I think even you were, some of you were asking from that video yesterday where I talked about that particular creator who moved into a reality where she doesn't smoke anymore, <laughs> right? That, or she never did smoke. And, and that she's always been in loving relationships. And then quickly, a lot of you are asking, well, what did she do when she had a craving? Guys, if, that is your que if those are the questions, then you miss the message. You miss the message. Do nothing. It's not about doing anything at that level. If there's a craving, now you're, now you're down here <laughs> trying to change the craving. It's here where reality gets created. And my point was, even if she had cravings. She knows that that's an alternative reality. That's not who she is. Whether she smoked or not doesn't matter. She's in that new reality. So she moved to it. So it doesn't matter what you do or don't do. It matters what you're imagining. It matters from what level. Are you, are you working from the bottom up, from the cravings, or are you working from that new reality? Right? Under that new identity, there are no cravings. Right? Even as she might have sensed or felt some from that other identity. Remember, you're all identities. She made a declaration that I am in this reality. Watch that video again and then you'll get that. Remember, doing to make something happen or change out there only creates more apparent limitations and more circumstances to deal with. Stop trying to do things and deal with circumstances. I, I see this question a lot. How do I deal with this? You can't deal with it. If you're, if you're in that reality of dealing with things, you're recreating the things that you have to deal with. And then you're going to create something else that you have to deal with. It's about identity. It's about imagining that two second frame about who you are. And then, and then walking through reality, moving through the script, right? Following the script, not remember when we say follow the script, we're not saying follow it unconsciously. We're saying you follow the script consciously from that new identity, right? And then as you move through the script, the script changes, the film role changes, reality changes, right? Because you're in that new identity. So it's resist nothing, resist nothing. Instead, assume and imagine yourself in reality as you would like it to be. Conditions are conditions, but I am, as one of our famous creators uh, <laughs> mentioned a few months ago. When you stop wanting and waiting for reality to change and to be different, and when you stop trying to do things to change it, when you do nothing with your thoughts and feelings and, and circumstances and reality, when, when you be still and know that you are God, all self-imposed limitations and blocks to your true perception are lifted and everything you want and desire unfolds right before your eyes. This is what she experienced as the third party went away, as her and her ex got back together. It, all of those were lifted. They were dissolved. The true perception came through because it was always there. I was remembering it wrong. I was seeing it wrong. I was putting the blocks here. I was putting the limitations. She knows now that she's absolutely unlimited, that she can only create the blocks in the limitations, right? That's how to be absolutely unlimited and create anything you want. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the ambassadors at facebook.com groups 
slash be something wonderful for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, for being part of our TikTok ch channel at be something wonderful, and for being part of the membership channel. Next Sunday, a week from today, we're going to have our fifth live stream of the year, our 14th live stream and all to be broadcast from the membership channel. If you're a member, tune in. If you're not a member, check out the link below. That's going to be May 26, 2024 at 9 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to come to you live right here from the studios to answer questions that you've been sending to us at info at besomethingwonderful.com. I'll also answer questions live on the chat. And as uh, we have a membership video today, and on the membership video, I am, I am announcing a seven-day challenge. And so we're going to talk about the results. <laughs> the outcomes of that seven day challenge. And I'm really interested to see, see what you're going to create over this next seven days. Creators with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. This is Tom Kieran here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Until next time, we'll see you soon.